It's Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> you want to remember that Rebecca Black song is so annoying. Hello, my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is on the Aurora Mini. <laughs> So this is the Aurora Mini Kit, and it is by Vape Only. They market this towards um, no leaking, no spit back, and no burnt taste. So we shall see if I can ever get this packaging open. For real, I can't though. All right, this comes in black, silver, or gold. I have the gold one, and they actually sent me four more. So I'll be doing a giveaway for sure very soon for these Aurora Mini Kits. I hope I like them. Okay, come out. Oh. So it pulls out just like this, and it's literally the toughest thing. Go! Oh, Jesus! Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Ah, oh, okay. All right, we vape only. Can you see that? I wanna show you guys that, that's pretty nice. Kinda of reminds me of iPhone packaging. Don't know how relevant that is. It's a vape video, but um, Oh, oh, it's gonna be difficult coming out too. Oh, okay, cool. You know, I just have all the time in the world to do this. Not, <laughs> I need, oh, goodness gracious. Come on, let me see your pretty gold body. Wow, this has been like two, three minutes of me just trying to get this open to show you guys. How horrible, ah, uh, no, oh, oh, what was that? This little thingy that fell out says, please install the single coil before using and soak the new coil for no less than one minute. Cute little warning, good little warning. Okay, so here it is, here's the device. And, ooh, you know, this kind of, it, it doesn't really look gold. Let's check it out close up. Well, I guess it is like a light chromey gold. Looks like you got a fire button here, charge port here, Aurora Mini. There's a mouthpiece. So under the first layer where the device sits, you have the user's manual. Always, always need that for sure. And under that you have the next layer. Oh, no, okay, so it's not a next layer. It's actually a, a little compartment and this should probably just be the coils and the charger and the other drip tip. So here's the charging cord. Holy crap, that's a long one. That's actually really convenient because I'm used to having like short little charging cords. So micro USB, and what else in here? We have two coils and a stainless steel drip tip that has drip tip airflow, along with some extra little O-rings. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this one since it's really, you know, different. We'll go ahead and pop out one of these coils to show you guys. So it comes with a 0.5 which is a recommended wattage range of 21 watts to 25 watts. Please camera, here is the 0.5. And it also comes with a 0.33, which is recommended for 33 watts. Very small draw and very small juice holes. So this is an entire stainless steel um, shell and it weighs 83 grams with a 16.8 millimeter diameter. And the stainless steel mouthpiece is 304 stainless steel for anybody who wants to know. Now they market this towards a really easy fill option that it just takes one step. So what is that one step? It showed it just like coming off. So this is the airflow control ring right up here. Check it out. This is the airflow control ring. Oh, quit focusing on my face. Pretty, pretty. So you just twist that off to fill it. And so you just, it's, so it's weird. You thread the coil into this top part with the mouthpiece and then you just fill up the tank. Now I wasn't able to find a capacity for this tank, but it's not very big. I'd say it's probably around something like the Ego One, the original size one, not the mini, not the big one, but the original, I believe it was an 11 milliamp hour Ego One. That, I think it would have the same capacity as that. This is a 1450 milliamp hour lithium battery. And these are innovative TAC double coils. It has a bunch of protection features and the light, the fire button right here actually lights up um, and flashes different, like different patterns for whatever might be wrong and you can look in your user's manual to find out what's wrong. Like if it flashes five times really fast, that can indicate low circuit or over circuit or you know, uh, there's over battery protection. There's, there's tons of protection features on this. So I really like that 
as well and this does remove and the atomizer does remove from the battery it's a 510 connection but you don't fill it upside down so you really wouldn't need to remove it since you fill it like this so let's go ahead and fill this up so I can get it soaking and today I'm filling it with bonsai vapors milk plus from my giant 120 mil bottle I really wish I knew what the capacity for this tank is. It did tell me that the max fill line is just a little bit, like a tiny little sliver above the viewing window so that when you actually put the coil down in there, it doesn't overflow. Wish me luck. Uh-oh. Uh, I filled it too full. I did. My bad. All right, so just, just fill it like right to the uh, viewing window. You don't want to overfill it otherwise it's gonna spill out that would not be a good thing so here you can see your e-liquid level when it gets down past the viewing window and you can also see the coil in there so i'm definitely going to give this a while to wick up because if you notice when i showed you guys the coil it was a really tiny little juice hole so i want it to fully wick up and not get a gross burnt taste but it takes five times to get it on one two three four five and the light flashes that it is on perfect very nice now if only this works amazingly this is pretty like fancy looking, at least in my opinion. With this type of drip tip, it kind of has like a spit, uh, anti spit back design to it. So you shouldn't be getting any e-liquid in your mouth because it would just hit right here instead of going, cause you know, it has to go up. You know, you, you can see it, you can see it guys. And it's like, it fits nicely like, like the way that fits. Whereas this drip tip is just straight up, but the, oh, it also has a spit back guard on it as well. I'll show you guys. A little close-up of this one and this one has drip tip airflow if for some reason the device doesn't have enough airflow for you you can always use the other drip tip so here is the other drip tip with airflow ability and you can see it oh <laughs> there's a little o-ring in there wow there little guy so you can see that there is a spit back guard and then see so it blocks any spit back which is much appreciated and this is also adjustable drip tip airflow too so with this device, it does self-adjust the wattage. Now when the battery gets too low, then it does not put out enough power to run the atomizer. But when you have the 0.5 in, it runs about 21 to 35 watts. And when you have the 3.3 ohm coil in, it runs at 33 watts. Okay, so right now I have the airflow wide open, and the only reason I can tell that the airflow is wide open is because I took a priming puff to see the difference, because you can't actually see like a level, at least I'm not, I'm not telling. I'm not being able to tell like a different airflow level. Good vapor production. You know, that for me, that's a little tight of an air draw, so I may prefer actually using the drip tip airflow drip tip, but I just wanted to use this one since it's like new. new. I haven't seen a device with this kind of drip tip in a while. And also, the way this drip tip would work to like have it comfortably in your mouth, you'd have to have it like this, right? but the buttons on the side so that kind of makes for awkward pushing i don't know just something i'm observing it might not really matter to you guys the flavor's coming through well i did let this soak up for like five minutes though because those juice holes were so little and i did not want to ruin the coil right away because i only have two. Oh, i found i found the way you would hold this all sophisticated like because then you can hold the flat part in your mouth, right? Because I don't think anyone would want to <laughs> vape it like that. But you can hold the flat part in your mouth, right? Or you can do it with your thumb on this hand. Wow, this is actually vaping huge clouds. So I'm going to turn the airflow down just to show you guys. restricted on the airflow for me <clears throat> I like having oxygen when I vape because I don't like feeling like suffocated with too much vape but I mean hey cloud chasers out there they might love that shit I don't know wow I am pretty impressed with this little cloud chucking little tube style let's get rid of pen this is a tube style and I I'm actually really liking it it's kind of making me feel fancy too because it's gold it's got this type of drip tip you got to hold it like this and it's chucking the vape. One thing I would like to see from it is being able to control the wattage range that it's at. But if it does it all itself, I mean, that makes it easier for beginners, you know, just vape and go. 
I thought these small juice holes would hinder the flavor a little because the juice holes are so tiny, but I'm getting a decent flavor out of every puff I take. You guys, check out these clouds. This room's getting a little too foggy. Okay, hold it in this hand for now. It is getting a little warm right here where the atomizer connects, but that happens to a lot of different devices that I have. A nice smooth hit too. So definitely no like burny taste like it says and not getting any spit back yet and not had it long enough to tell if it does leaking or not. But those are the three things that I want to look out for because they're like, oh, no leaking, no spit back, no burnt taste. So we shall see. Dang, I'm impressed at the clouds from this. I didn't I didn't think the clouds would be big. I didn't think the flavor would be that good only because of the little tiny juice holes and I'm gonna say that like five times in this video. Wow, thumbs up. So if you've tried the Aurora Mini, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your experience is. If you wanna see a one month update on this device, let me know, cause I could see myself using this kinda like I use my Ego One Minis. So let me know down in the comments below. I will put a link below where you can go and check it out for yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, it's around $30. I've seen it as low as like 27 and as high as 35. So I'll put a couple links below for you guys. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more views. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not necessarily vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. What are you guys' plans for Friday night? It's Friday night. I don't really have that many plans, but I have something super awesome planned for tomorrow.